In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Mother of the Church, Saint Joseph, our patron saints and guardian angels, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We in the Gospel today, we hear the story about the woman who was suffering from a hemorrhage and how she said, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. And how she just touched the hem of our Lord's garment and healing power came from our Lord and cured her of her very serious illness. This has always been used by the church as a justification for the use of sacramentals that, uh, you know, that we can use objects that are either blessed by the church or associated with some holy person like relics, you know, and touch to this holy person who is known for their sanctity and that they, they are able to bring, if the person, you know, using it with faith, can be used by God to work even great miracles and, and give grace to those who use them. Uh, we also hear that in the time of the early church where they would take just handkerchiefs and uh, different uh, objects, that they cloths that they touched to the apostles and they would take them to the sick and other people and touch them to them and heal them of their illnesses. So we see that God does use these other types of mediation, even an object which he has been blessed by the church, which has the impetratory power of the church to uh, convey a grace to those who use it with faith. Um, we know there are so many sacramentals, holy water. When we come into church, we bless ourselves uh, to remind us of our baptism. And, the, and uh, these are, when used with faith, can dispose us to receive more graces and to assist us to bolster our faith. We know that even the devil can recognize a sacramental. You know, St. Teresa of Avila many times would report that when she was tempted or um, troubled by the devil. She would sprinkle holy water and the devils would flee. Obviously, there was some quality that holy water has that is added to it by the blessing of the church that regular water does not have any effect on someone who is possessed or on a demon. So we know that they have actual uh, receive some kind of quality by being blessed. And we should always treat these blessed objects with reverence. Matter of fact, that's why um, uh, we should dispose of them properly, as you know, always either burn or bury a blessed object and not just toss it in the garbage because they are, of course, uh, a blessed object, part of the... Um, uh, Part of, the, part of the, the means by which God has established to assist us, uh, creatures that we are made in body and soul, we need tangible things to remind us of these holy uh, truths that we believe and that we know that grace, although we can't see it, we need these physical objects sometimes to help dispose us to make use or to turn to God uh, to seek these graces that he has there for us to receive. We know that Our Lady, even when she had uh, appeared to St. Catherine Labore, said to her to have this medal struck according to the pattern that I show you. And, um, and St. Catherine marveled at all the rays that were coming from Our Lady's hands, but she noticed that some of the rings on her fingers had no rays coming from them. And she said, well, that's because those are the graces I wish to give to those who I love, but they don't ask for them. So sacramentals are a way to remind us that you know we can turn to God and seek his help, remind us of certain truths, especially with this month of the brown scapular, 
that uh, Our Lady's protection, that she is there to watch over us and that she can assist us uh, to avoid sin and even if be so, to protect us from physical harm as we see in the life of Pope John Paul II that uh, when he was shot by Mehmet Aliaga, faithful wearer of the scapular, he was not saved from uh, complete physical harm, but Our Lady spared his life. Uh, because even when uh, Mehmet Aliaga met Pope John Paul II, he said, you should be dead, for my aim was lethal. And um, Pope responded because the doctors noticed when they examined Pope John Paul II that the bullet traveled a very unlikely trajectory. It missed all of his vital organs as it traveled through his body. And the Pope said in kind of a humorous way to Mehmet Aliaga, he said, you fired the bullet, but Our Lady guided it. And um, so we see that in other occasions where literally the scapular has stopped a bullet uh, in one occasion. So we know that uh, God has uh, these sacramentals established for helping to dispose us to, to turn to God, to make the holy things, that these holy truths that we believe, more impressed upon our minds. That, you know, the holy water, uh, or a blessed candle, or uh, in, even making the sign of the cross is to dispose us to receive grace and may even assist someone else to receive a grace. They see someone make the sign of the cross, they may say, oh, it might remind them of the cross that our Lord suffered on and may even make them inquire more about these truths and, and cause them or even lead them to the church. So we know that um, uh, these sacramentals, our Lord has continued to reach out to us and to give graces to us. If only we could touch the hem of his garment. He has, in one sense, given us many other ways. He's multiplied through these sacramentals, ways in which we can reach out and touch, in a certain manner, uh, Christ and his love for us. Uh, we also see that already, even in the Old Testament, we have prefigurements of sacramentals. Uh, of course, we know the story when the Jews were wandering in the desert, how they were bitten by poisonous seraph serpents because they were unfaithful to God and out of a punishment he allowed them to be afflicted with this uh, uh, epidemic, you might say, of poisonous snakes. And of course we know as a way of uh, healing people who were bitten by these serpents, they made a staff uh, and mounted on it a metal image of these serpents that were biting them and whoever looked upon this uh, metallic serpent uh, would be cured of their poisonous uh, bite. Obviously, it was an image. They weren't worshiping it, but out of obedience to God, when they used this with faith and turning to him, he would grant them a grace, a physical grace of healing. So today as we contemplate uh, the many ways in which God manifests his love for us, we should especially look to God and thank him for these sacramentals that have come to us through supernatural events. Uh, many of them, like the miraculous medal, the brown scapular, have been given to us by visitations by Our Lady herself. Others were instituted by the church in the first days of the church, holy water and different things like that. Uh, the, great, the great sacramental, the rosary, uh, has such power today that we must uh, make use of these means. We have the great sacraments, which give grace by the very fact that we receive them. And um, whether we're disposed or not, the grace is given, whether we make fruit of it, is depending on whether we are properly disposed and are in a state of grace. But with sacramentals, we're disposed by the using, by the, by, by the faith that we have and by the church granting to it 
uh, some of the treasures of the graces that God has given to the church. You know, that he has given the church the ability to bind and loosen. And in one sense, the church has loosened its treasury of grace through the use of the sacramentals. When we are disposed by faith, believing in whatever the promise is that Our Lady or Our Lord has attached to some particular devotion or some sacramental, then we can be, receive grace to assist us in our daily lives. So let us make use of these sacramentals as creatures made of body and soul. We need these physical reminders at times to uh, help us to turn to God and to seek his help in various times and occasions and to remind us of these different truths that are attached to these sacramentals, whether it be the existence of purgatory and the desire to be free of it, or the, the maternal mediation of Our Lady and our need to have recourse to her, or uh, the St. Benedict's Medal and the fact that devil does exist and he does tempt us and that we need his help from God to, 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 to resist his attacks from, from the evil one. So let us um, thank God for these different means by which uh, he manifests his love for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.